In this video, I'm going to go over the str chr function in C, which finds the first occurrence of a character in a string. To use the function, I'm going to include string.h, because that's where the function is defined. Now you've always got string.h when you're using C, because it comes with C. And then I'm going to make a test string here. So I'm going to say here, car tweet is equal to, this is my at mention. And what we've got here is sort of a tweet string here where we've got some text and then we have a mention in the string. So on Twitter, you can mention people when you have an at character. And what we're going to try to find is the first occurrence of the at character in the string. So we're going to say here, str, chr, tweet, and then at. And what's going on here is we're calling the function and we're giving it our string and we're giving it the character we want to find in the string. Now what the function is going to return is a pointer to this position in the string where the first occurrence of the character is found. And what it's effectively giving you is a substring, the remaining portion of the string from that character onwards. So I'm going to say here, car star mention is equal to str chr tweet. And we'll then printf mention to see what we get back afterwards. So we'll say mention percent s and we'll output mention. And then let's give it a compile here and we'll give it a quick test here. So run it and we get mention is at mention. So what we get back from the function again is a pointer to this position in the string. And we're effectively then given back the substring of the original string from the first occurrence of the character onwards to the end of the string. Now, the reason why I'm kind of driving that point home is because it's very important that we understand that strchr is not giving us back a fundamentally new string in memory. It's giving us back a position in the original string that's really what it's doing. So if I, were to, if I were to modify the one string, it would affect the other because they're both the same in memory. So let's actually test that out. Let's do a printf of the memory address stored by mention. And then let's also do a printf of the memory address of tweet shifted over by how many characters here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we're going to shift over our tweet memory address by 11 characters here. And if we do this here, we're going to find that they're actually referring to the exact same memory address. And that's because mention is really just pointing towards this same string in memory. In other words, they're kind of the same thing in memory. Mention is just sort of starting off at a different portion, a different place in the original string. Now, the reason why this is important is that let's say I were to modify mention now. Let's say that I set mention zero equal to star. And what's going to happen now is if I print F the original tweet here, we're going to find that that's actually affected because we, we're, we're altering the same string in memory. So if I run this here, we get that this is my star mention because I modified the first character in mention, which is going to modify this at character here and I changed it to star, but that also altered the original string here. So that's just very important that we, re we realize that, that if we modify this string, we're going to modify the original string. Now, the other thing we might be curious about is what happens if the character can't be found? So what if the character just can't be found in the string? If that's the case, strchr is going to return null. So let's just do a test of that here. We can say here, strchr, and we're going to say tweet, and we're going to try to find the pound character. Maybe we're looking for a hashtag. And we're going to see what we get back. And we're going to say here, if this is equal to null, we're going to do a printf. We're going to say printf str chr returned null. And we'll just output that just as a test. And we can run this here. And we get str chr returned null. So that's the behavior we can expect when a character like pound just can't be found in this string here, is that the function will return null. So that's the str chr function in C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.